Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the IRQL not less or equal blue screen you're receiving on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty quick tutorial and we're going to jump into it. So I made a tutorial of this nature a while back and I wanted to make an updated video and there's a couple extra things I want to throw in there that maybe you'll be able to resolve the issue for those who did not have success with this method perhaps. But I'm going to go over a few different ways on how to hopefully resolve it. So we're going to jump into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu just by left clicking on it one time and into the start menu you want to type in Windows Memory Diagnostic. Best match should say Windows Memory Diagnostic right above desktop app. You want to left click on that one time it's going to say check your computer for memory prompts. Memory prompts can cause your computer to lose information or stop working. I would suggest left clicking on the option that says restart now and check for prompts. I'd first recommend before that of course close out of any open windows or applications you have on your screen. And then once you've ensured that everything's closed out of I would select the restart now and check for prompts option. And this will take a couple minutes to scan and shouldn't take too long but just be patient.
Okay, so at this point you want to get back in your computer. If you had any password, enable the accounts. Okay, so at this point, check and see if your issue has been resolved. It very well might have been. That would be my first best chance of hopefully fixing the problem for you guys. Now, if that did not resolve it, we're going to jump over to the Start menu just by left clicking on the Start button one time to open it up. And you want to type into the Start menu Device Manager. Best match should say Device Manager. You want to open that up. And now you want to go down and double click or left click on the little arrow next to Disk Drivers. And now there should be a disk driver listed in here. Now you want to make sure we're not doing this for a USB drive. It should be a system disk. As you can see I have one disk in here so it makes it very easy but just keep that in mind if it says a USB in the name of it you do not want to do this for. You want to right click on it and then left click on properties. And now you want to left click on the policies tab at the top and you want to select quick removal which will basically as it says right here will disable right caching on the device and in Windows but you can disconnect the device safely without using safely remove hardware notification icon. Select that, click on OK. Now it will prompt you to restart your computer which we're not going to do at the moment. I'm just going to close out our device manager but I would recommend you restart your computer after that one and see if that has resolved your issue. I'd also recommend removing any peripheral devices from your computer such as USB flash drives, any speakers that are hooked up, USB sticks, anything that you connect into your computer. I recommend unplugging and plugging them back in and then maybe going back one at a time and removing them and seeing if that resolves the issue as well. Now if that does not work we're going to go into another step here and open up the star menu and you want to type in this PC should be a desktop app. On Windows 7 and Windows 8 devices you can just type in computer as well. We're going to be just basically getting to the screen that shows all of our hard disks that are installed on our computer. That's basically all we're going to in this next step. Okay, so whichever drive Windows is installed on, you can tell that if you're unsure by looking and there should be a little Windows icon right above it. And it should say local disk more than likely and it will likely be the C drive. doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be the C drive but you want to right click on it and then select properties then you want to select the tools tab and then underneath error checking this option will check the drive for file system errors left click on this check button if you left click on the scan drive button right here it will begin scanning your drive you will need to restart your computer for it to fully take effect because you are running basically a check disk scan except you're not going through the command line window so just be patient, this should only take a couple of seconds to run this part of the scan here. And we click on close. It just ran an error check scan on your drive, see if that resolved any issues. So you can close out of here. Again, I recommend restarting your computer as well in between that step too. I'd also recommend opening up a command line window. So just type in CMD, best match to command prompt. Right click on it. Left click on run as administrator. So it's yes. Now it's the elevated command line window. We're going to type in CHK. DSK space and now you want to type in whichever drive Windows was installed on as I just showed you guys my drive was the C drive so I'm going to do an uppercase C colon so basically one dot on top of another dot another space forward slash F so CHK DSK space C colon another space forward slash F then you want to hit enter you're going to have to type Y in order to initiate the check disk scan for the next time your computer restarts because we cannot run this kind of scan when your computer is running. 
So you'd have to type the Y key on your keyboard to initiate the scan when your computer restarts next time. And if that does not work for you, again, restart your computer. I would recommend typing in SFC space forward slash scan now. Two ends in scan now, scan now. The one end does not go for both the scan and the now, if that makes sense. It's basically two words mushed together into one word without any spaces. Then you hit enter and this would begin running a scan as well. I just would have to caution you guys, this will take some time. All these scans pretty much would, but I would recommend you restart your computer in between all of these steps as it suggests. And just be patient, it will take some time, but I believe we've gone through five or six different workarounds for you. So hopefully something has worked, and I do hope this brief video was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.